With the Power Pivot add-in in Excel 2010, you can create reports from data in Excel files or databases. You can work with millions of rows of data and create a pivot table from all the data. I've got two files for different region sales. So I've got East and West, and here's the West. So the files are set up identically with date, region, item, and quantity. I'd like to combine the data in one pivot table. So we'll see how we can do that in Power Pivot. So I'll just close this file. And I've got a file now where I'm going to create a Power Pivot connection and a pivot table from that. So first I'll create a connection in the workbook. So on the data tab I'll click connections and I'll add a connection and here I'll click browse for more and I'll go to the folder where my files are and I'll start with the East sales here and open that. There's the eSales sheet. I'll click OK. And so now we have a connection to that file. So that's a workbook connection. And I'm going to go to Power Pivot now. On the Power Pivot tab, I'll click Power Pivot Window to start the add in. And in the file, menu. I'll see what connections we have. So I'm launching Power Pivot. And in the view menu, So I'm launching Power Pivot now. On the Power Pivot tab, I'll click Power Pivot Window. And in here, I'll go to the Table menu and click Existing Connections. So there are no Power Pivot connections, but if we scroll to the bottom, under Workbook Connections, there's the connection that we created. So I'll open that and it shows the name of the connection and the string. If I click Next, shows the sheet with the data, and I'll click Finish. So depending on how much data there is, it might take a few seconds or a couple of minutes to finish the import. So this has been successful, and I'll close that. Now, with this table, I've only got the East data. So if I scroll down, it's all from the East. To bring in the West, I can go back to the Table menu, and Table Properties, and here's the East connection, and over here it says Switch To. If I had just built a connection in Power Pivot, this might not be enabled. But right now I can click here and go to the Query Editor. So here's the query string as it stands now with just the East sales showing. And I can add to this SQL statement so it also brings in the West sales. And I will paste in from my clipboard. So I had the string copied. I'll just do control V to paste it. So now it's going to take the East data, then do union all and bring in the West data. I'll click validate just to make sure it's going to work correctly. It tells me that that's valid. So I'll save it. And it should then close this window and take me back to Power Pivot. And now I've got the East and below that you can see the West data. So we've combined all the data and now I could make a power pivot, uh, pivot table from that.
So that takes me back to Excel and there's the empty pivot table and I'll just put in region, item, quantity, maybe move the region into the columns. And there's a pivot table from both regions, east and west, by creating a union query in PowerPivot.